Now let's talk about devices called as electric gates. So these devices electronic gates are actually used in every electronic circuits. So the basic you can think of it like this if you want to build a house you will use bricks isn't it. Similarly if you want to build any electronic device you are going to use something called as uh, gates. And now these gates have some properties that they take some input and then produce some output. And the inputs they take will be in terms of some signals voltages and the output they produce will be in terms of some voltages now you know uh, you know why we are we have been talking about something called as boolean variables if you remember it now i mean till now we have been doing this right boolean variables boolean variables, boolean variables which means the variable is taking only two values why are we restricting our variables to be taking only two values is because these devices can take only two well two types of uh, voltages high voltage and low voltage and every input given to this device can be represented as a variable which will take some voltage right therefore device device is going to take inputs and input is having two values and that input and output even output is also going to be two values therefore it is very convenient for us to represent the variable uh, using a variable what the input a device is taking and what the output coming out of the device right so do one thing i'll read out every point about it you please note it down it is very important because they might ask it for theory so sometimes they, they are even asking it. So it is better that every, every point is there in your notes so that later when you are revising it, you will, you will have everything there. That is why I am writing everything here. I will just read it, read it out. Okay. Electronic devices. See. Uh, electronic gate networks. Electronic gates generally receive voltages as input and produce voltages as output. That is simple. Which means you give some input and they are going to give you some output. And next point is. The precise voltage of this, uh, the precise values of these voltages are not significant towards the determination of the operation of the gates, which means what voltages you are giving exactly that is independent, that is irrelevant. So sometimes you will give 10 voltages, sometimes you give 5 voltages, sometimes you give 3 voltages, but 10, 5 or 3 is not what we are wondering, worrying about. What we really worry about is what is the range of the voltage it is, which means it is the significance of the point is that voltages are restricted to the ranges of values high and low which means we have some ranges called as high range and low range if the voltage is anything between this high range we don't care exactly what its value is we just say the voltage is high or we represent it as I know using some value and if the voltage falls in the range of low we just say that the voltage is low we are not exactly interested in what the voltage is right and now this uh, next point is two values uh, the two valued variables may be used to represent these voltages therefore any input that you give and the output that you give everything can be written as variables so that it will be easy for us to construct the expression and then convert the expression into uh, these electronic gates. Next one is, if we associate a constant 1 with the high voltage and 0 with the low voltage, it is called positive logic system. Now, first, first of all, the devices are defined electronic devices and they are going to take some voltages. So, actually the device will be designed first and which will behave in some way using the voltages. After that, if you, are, if you assign, see, first of all device is fixed and the voltages are already defined, high, low, everything. I will take an example later also, but for now understand this. Now, already a device is defined and to which the voltages are given and the actions of the device is also defined, which means it might take two high voltages and then uh, produce a high voltage or it might take two low voltages and then produce a low voltage, something like this. Operation is already defined. Now, how do you interpret those high voltages and low voltages depend how this gate is going to actually work. I will just take an example later for now just uh, see this point. If we associate a constant 1 with the high voltage and a constant 0 with the low voltage which means for the level which we are having high voltage level if you put a 1 there and the low voltage level if you take 0 that is normal it is logical high voltage is represented with 1 and low voltage is given a value of 0. If that is the case then it is called positive logic system. The other one is if we associate the constant 1 with low voltage which means for the low voltage we are giving 1 and for the high voltage we are giving 0 then it is called negative logic system. So initially if you buy a gate and that gate is having some voltages 
and the actions of the gate is defined in terms of the voltages high high low, low like that and later depending on what is the logic system you are using the meaning of the gate will change which means in one logic system if the gate is and in the other logic system in the gate will be or something like this i'll just take an example and explain you that okay so you please note on all these points so that you know it will be easy for you to understand the theory questions okay